if Copic markers were Pokemon, then I'd want to be a Pokemon master. Because you gotta catch them all. Just like Pokemon, there are a lot of Copic markers out there. But what's the best way to keep track of what Copic markers you have and which ones you don't have, and which ones you need to have, and which ones you're running out of? I have two main methods to keep track of my Copics. Method number one is color charts. And I have actually two color charts. The first one is one that I downloaded off of the Copic website. So it's just a basic blank chart that you can print out and it has all the Copic color families and all the numbering systems. The second chart that I have is the chart that was made by Sandy Alnock. It's the hex chart. This is the chart that I go to when I am trying to pick out what colors would best blend and merge into each other. So if I can find where I got it, I will put a link to that in the description box below. But back to my Pokemon reference. And Copic has a Copic Dex, the Copic Dex. It's a Copic app, totally free, and I love it. I've had it for years, but it's been a while since I've mentioned it, so I thought I would do a video talking about it because, again, this is a free app, and I have it both on my iPad at home and I have it on my phone. Feature number one, it has a full catalog of all of the Copic markers that Copic currently has. Not only does it give you the full listing, but it also gives you a photo of the actual swatches. So you can see what the Copic marker looks like on paper and not just like one single swipe, but like multiple building up your colors. A side feature that's really awesome to this is the complementary tab. So if you choose a color and then hit the complementary tab, it shows you what colors are really good complementary colors to that one. I don't know about you guys, but I find that really inspirational for me when I'm having a hard time deciding what colors to pick. Feature number two that I really like is the stock list. So this is where you can go and catalog what stock you currently have. Whether it's Sketch, Classics, Chow, or Refills, you can categorize that all in there, which is really, really nice. Like I said, I haven't updated my app for a while. I got a new phone, and so I just went ahead and re-downloaded it. And now, let us go ahead and put in all of the colors that I have, including like the refills and things like that. So I'm going to speed through this because it takes a while. By the way, this app is not sponsored. Obviously it's a free app um, and Copic did not ask me to do this. If I have something that I think is really helpful in my art process and creating, I really wanna share it with you guys and I love this app. Also, Foster Kitten Cameo. Because there are some new features on here, I was a little confused on how to use them. And if you find that you have that same problem, they have a really easy how to use this app manual, which takes you not just wordy through like, you know, giving you the written instructions, but if you're like me, I like pictures. So it gives you nice picture instructions with little arrows of what to push. So really handy. Speaking of that, there is the wish list. Now to update my wish list. <laughs> Feature number four I think would be really fun, especially if you are posting your art to social media and people are curious as to what colors you used to create this picture. You can now label the what Copics you use on your actual picture. So you take a picture of the art you created and then you can swipe your color swatches in there. So one, that can really be helpful to share those with other people. But two, if you're a creator of something, maybe you're doing a comic and you're coloring, or you have a character that you want to stay consistent, but you're using colors and you don't remember which ones, when you draw your picture out, instead of swatching everything out and then having to handwrite it, you can also do that for you. So you have a little reference to go back to to make sure that you're always using the same color marker. And the last one, which I think would be fun to use, is a color finder. So if you're wanting to create a picture based off of a reference photo, you can take that reference photo, enter it into your app, and it will help you choose the Copa color that best matches that area. So it'll like, you know, use a little magnifying glass and, and zoom in pretty close and give you a list of colors that would match that kind of area. So that is one of my favorite things to use with Copic markers, sp specifically to keeping track of which markers I have and which ones I don't have so that when I'm at conventions and the Copic booth is there and I'm tempted to go and buy Copic markers, I don't get my doubles because, girl, I got way too many doubles. 
I'm curious if you guys have any tips or hacks or helps in keeping track of your Copic markers or art supplies. Maybe you don't have Copic markers, maybe you have color pencils or something like that. Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you're interested in hanging out more with me and my art, I invite you to jump over to my Patreon page. Anyway, thanks again for hanging out with me, and as always, God bless you guys, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye!